And a very good morning. You're welcome along to the exchange here on West Summit 102 on this uh, Wednesday morning. Wednesday. radio station broadcasts for an average of between 16 and 24 hours a day. To fill up this time, the radio station has to provide content that entertains, educates and provides coverage on topics that are relevant to its target audience. The aim of this presentation is to show all aspects and how these programs are made, from the researching of the topic to the airing of the final project. In order to make the program, a topic is chosen by a producer. The first task is the research. The research team's job is to compile all the relevant information about the topic and to investigate the people who should be contacted. Often these people will be asked to appear as guests during the show. The producer takes this research and decides how the topic is handled and approached and how the program is devised. The script dictates what way the show is going to go. It contains the information on the topic, questions for the guests and the way the topic will be discussed. The script also contains the schedule of the music, commercial breaks and any inserts that are played in during the show. All of this has to be scripted and scheduled correctly so that the show runs smoothly. At the beginning of the show, the presenter is cued in by a countdown timer. A music intro track, or jingle, is played in and the show begins. While the show is in progress, the producer works at the main mixing desk. This controls what is output on the air and plays in the air breaks and inserts while the presenter stays in the main studio. The producer can speak directly to the presenter at any time throughout the show. This is generally to alert the presenter of an upcoming break or insert in the show and to give extra questions and information to the presenter. When listeners phone into the show, these calls have to be filtered through from the main desk to the producers who then decide if and when the calls are passed through to the studio to go on air. Commercial breaks are queued in at regular intervals along with the music. This allows interviewees to exit the studio once their interview is complete and also facilitates any changes that need to happen before the next part of the show begins. When the show is over, the presenter wraps up and the outro jingle is played followed by a commercial break during which the studio prepares to air the next program. Editing is the final stage of the process. This stage is mainly for pre-recorded shows but also applies to live shows that are being output again at a later time. The editing is done by the producer. With a pre-recorded show, any mistakes or unneeded material can be gotten rid of before the show is aired. Whenever a show is pre-recorded, a message is attached to the beginning which informs the listeners that it has been pre-recorded. Live shows are always recorded so they can be repeated at a later stage. Editing these shows is generally done to alter the duration of the show so it fits into the schedule, or to get rid of any parts that were only applicable to when the show was live. Once the editing of the program is completed, the show is saved and ready to be aired whenever it is needed. Now that's it for today and we're right up against the clock. We have to go. We'll talk to you again very soon. Thanks for listening and goodbye. Bye-bye.